Hey, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my uh, first ever fight outside of the cage. I think it's a pretty good story and uh, it kind of compares uh, old school mentality to a uh, current day mentality and uh, I think that old school mentality is lacking in uh, today's youth. And I just wanted to share uh, my experience. So I was probably around five or six years old. I'd never really been in a fight before. And uh, there was this neighbor kid, uh, you know, my parents were always working. So a lot of times they would take me to uh, my grandparents' house. And when I was younger, they would uh, watch me and take care of me. And I would kind of play with the neighbor kids over there. But one of the neighbor kids, uh, his name was Steven. And he was a... Uh, really starting to bully me quite a bit. He would do stuff like uh, hit me and laugh and run away or uh, wait till my back's turned and shove me so I fall over the bricks. And uh, just uh, a lot of uh, bully behavior. And kind of the thing going now that they teach uh, the youth of today is don't fight back. Tell your teacher, tell your parents, tell the policemen, don't handle it with violence. So I tried that, you know, this neighbor kid uh, would bully me quite a bit and uh, I ended up telling my grandma something like grandma Steven hit me she goes well what are you telling me for go handle it I go what do you mean handle it she goes well if he hits you, you got to stand up for yourself and hit him back. And I go, well, I don't want to get in trouble. She goes, who are you going to get in trouble from? She goes, just stop. When I tell you to stop and you're not going to get in any trouble. I go, well, Okay, but I've never been in a fight before. I don't really know what to do. And she goes, well, you're bigger than he is. So when he tries to hit you, you're going to change levels, tackle him to the ground, sit on his chest, and hit him on the face until he's done. She so go, okay, all right, I think I can do that. So I go back to playing or whatever I was doing. And uh, Steven, of course, didn't care that I told on him, you know. He might get in trouble with his parents. They might put him on timeout. But he doesn't care. He could just go to his room and play video games. That's a win-win for him. So I tried it my grandma's way, the old school way. So he tried to hit me. I changed levels, took him down, and uh, it was kind of a combination of choking him, 
hitting them. I think I might have uh, even tried to poke them in the eye a little bit too. When I get tired of hitting them, choke them for a little bit or poke them in the eye. So, it happens. My grandma sees it. And she goes, the neighbor kid is saying, stop it, stop it, stop it. And my grandma goes, well, were you picking on him? And he goes, well, well yeah. She goes, well, that's what you get. You mess with fire, you're going to get burned. And he goes, well, stop it, stop it, get off of me. She goes, okay, Stephen, have you had enough? He goes, yes, I had enough, I had enough. Get him off of me. She goes, are you going to pick on Will anymore? He goes, no, 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 just make him stop. She goes, okay, Will. Steven's had enough. Get off of him. <clears throat> so after that, you know, he wasn't seriously hurt. I'm sure he was a little hurt, a little shooken up. He was crying. I think he had like a little blood on his mouth and stuff. He took a uh, proper ass beating. Instead of getting in trouble, <clears throat> he actually started uh, respecting me a lot more. Never bullied me ever again. And uh, we actually became really good friends. So we had beef, we fought it out. We earned each other's respect and the bullying and the bullshit stopped without it getting out of control, out of hand, without telling the teacher, without telling mama. That's what a lot of youth today I think is missing is that old school mentality to take care of things yourself. And uh, it's a shame. And who would have known the same technique I used when I was five or six, my first ever fight, are some of the same techniques I use now fighting at a professional level. Don't overthink it, get out and train, stand up for yourself, over and out.